Hi everyone. Did you know that some good things happened in 2020? Did you know the carbon emissions fell by the largest amount ever recorded, down 7%? Did you know that we made the land greener? In July 2020, more than 2 million people in India planted 250 million trees in one weekend. 2021 brings more hope. Did you know that 2021 has been declared the International Year of Fruits and Vegetables by the United Nations? Did you know in 21 that there is an Olympic year? The Summer Olympics will happen in Tokyo. It's the year that NASA's Perseverance rover lands on Mars. It's the 50th anniversary of Disney World. On behalf of Achievement House and The Buzz, we wish you a safe, healthy, and happy new year 2021. What's up, Achievement House? Bienvenido. Welcome. Welcome to our first show of 2021. I am Miss Gonzalez, and with me I have Mr. Vitelli. Good morning. Can you share what you have for us, Miss Vitelli? Sure. We have lots of important dates coming up. Really important is January 18th. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it's a holiday for us and no school on January 18th. And just a little heads up, January 22nd is going to be the end of quarter two, so we're halfway through the year, coming up on January 22nd. What else do we have in store today? Well, with a weather update, Missy, Missy Mikowskis. Thanks, Mrs. Gonzalez. Mrs. Mistowskis here. So now that we're in the middle of the winter season, we're going to start to experience, hopefully, some of that winter weather. I'd love to see some snow and maybe even some sleet, not so much some freezing rain. So these are just three of the weather phenomena that we experience during these cold winter months. Each of them are created a similar way, but there are slight differences. So let's take a look and see what those differences are. So looking at the different types of winter precipitations, the first is snow which is my favorite and most likely your favorite. For snow to occur, you have cold air aloft and it remains cold or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit from aloft all the way down to the surface. So that precipitation is going to fall simply as snow. When you have sleet, you have the cold air aloft, but then that precipitation goes through a small area of warmer air um, that is above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll transition back into that colder layer above the surface. So that will fall as sleet. The other type of winter precipitation is known as freezing rain. Uh, this is probably the most dangerous of the three. Freezing rain occurs when, again, the precipitation starts aloft in cold air below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it goes through a pretty large area of warm air, so above 32 degrees. However, just before it hits the ground, that freezing rain goes through another area of cold air, so below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just enough so that when that cold precipitation hits the surface, it freezes instantly. When you're out, uh, out and about driving around, freezing rain is probably the most dangerous because it just looks wet. And when you go over that, it actually turns out to be ice. So be careful out there, everyone. Back to you, Mrs. Gonzalez. And thank you for that weather update, Ms. Mikowskis. And do you have one more thing for us, Ms. Abatelli? I do. Um, one last note to bring to your attention is the Hour of Code is still on. So visit your Future Ready course page and click on Hour of Code starts here and complete your coding activities by January 15th and earn 15 buzzy bucks. So 15 bucks by the 15th. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the buzz. Take care, mask up, and have a great week.